Hey guys, it's Inka. Welcome back to Trendy vs. Traditional, where I will be making trendy interpretations of your favorite classics. Unfortunately, my previous co-host, Chris, lovingly known as Big Forehead, will no longer be able to join us, but that's okay. He'll be right here watching over us. I have found an amazingly talented roster of friends to come and join me on this journey. Beginning with Elvin. Hello. Yay! <laughs> I'm Alvin, I'm one of the producers on Tasty, and I make food. And mm -hmm. what are we making today? Today we are making... Cheesecake. cheesecake! I love cheesecake. I don't eat it as often because it's so rich and heavy, but I love how creamy it is. It's a lot of calories that I don't want to know I'm putting in my stomach, but it's really good. The cheesecake I'm doing today will be a little bit different. I kind of have a slight hunch oh, on what you might be making. You excited? I'm very excited. I'm excited. I'm excited I, to eat yours. I'm excited to go on an actual showdown with Alvin this and is win. A competition. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get started. Okay, Alvin. Thank You're you. You're going first. Good mm -hmm. luck. Yep. I'll see you later. Thanks. I'm not going to need it. You're going to what? You're what? I think when you like look up or think of the word cheesecake, the first thing that people think of is like New York style cheesecake. It's a thick slice, nice graham cracker crust. I'm gonna be taking inspiration from that, but adding a couple of twists because that's how I like to make my cheesecake. The first thing, the crust. Graham crackers, sometimes you gotta beat it down. I like adding brown sugar because it just tastes better than regular sugar. A little bit of salt, lock this down, and then away we go. So today I am actually going to be making the jiggly cheesecake from Japan. I feel like it is the first thing that pops to mind when people think trendy cheesecake. I've had it when I was in Osaka. I think I waited in line for like an hour before I got my cake. It's really the texture that won me over. Soft, almost like souffle-like, very jiggly. That's what I'm gonna try and aim for today. Starting with some cake pans. You actually bake it in a water bath, which just means I'm gonna be filling up this pan with a little bit of water, and then we're gonna bake it like so. It allows there to be more moisture when you're baking it in the oven, and it's really important if you don't want your cheesecake to crack. And for this one, you really, really, really do want that smooth top. I am going to fill this with water now and pop it in the oven. Okay, so the texture I like to look for is pretty fine. There's no huge lumps in there. This is melted butter, makes it come all together. It's looking like wet sand. Oh, it smells good though. Springform pan, dump this all in. Squishing it down with a measuring cup because it's really satisfying. I like graham crackers. You actually know it was invented to not taste good. Someone could look this up, but somehow everybody used it for like the best tasting things. Woo, that's smooth. I'm gonna go bake this now. We're gonna start off by actually melting down a couple of things. We have a little bit of cream cheese, then we're gonna put in some butter. Butter is always good. A little bit of milk, whole milk. For desserts, the more fat, the better. Right now, it's super lumpy, very chunky. We just wanna melt it down until it's all together. You don't want it to boil. I'm actually going to leave this to the side and get cracking mini eggs. We're just gonna separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. These eggs are the only thing that are gonna give our cheesecake volume. So, don't wanna mess that up. This is a lot of cream cheese. It's, it's a lot. I use more than a lot of people might say. I soften this by putting it in the microwave. Add my sugar. This saves a lot of our muscles. Sugar and cream cheese all coming together. No problems, no lumps. You don't have to be this violent, but you know, I just want my stuff to come out faster. I'm actually kind of getting all the sides. You remember how I said how this is supposed to save you arm muscle and tiredness? I just realized I'm getting pretty tired right now. I think it's worth it. Check back in like five minutes. I might have a different answer for you guys. Hello, cream cheese and butter. It smells like yogurt, like hot yogurt. Some people say this looks like mayo. I think it looks like delicious cheesecake. It looks like Alfredo sauce right now. Looking good. Looking good. You guys see how it's now this like goopy texture? Take it off of the heat. We wanna temper the eggs a little bit. You don't wanna cook the eggs. We're gonna add the cream slowly. Instantly makes it a lot lighter and paler in color. Looks great. Just wanna combine this well. Now it just looks like a custard. Cheesecake in general is just a lot of mixing. I'm tired. It's like nice, smooth, almost like, like a sticky pudding kind of thing. We're gonna stop because I almost spilled. The next ones are the wet ingredients. First we do vanilla. Oh, that definitely smells better. Wow, it's getting warm. The eggs, 
We're slowly getting there. My hand is getting tired. Whew, nice. Mm. I like to make it a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna add a little bit of sour cream. You can just eat more of it, which is what I like to do. A lot of blending happening today. I wanna put in some matcha. I feel like matcha is a really, really popular flavor now. I also love matcha a lot, and so matcha jiggly cheesecake can't get any trendier than that, right? I'm gonna start off by sifting in cake flour. Helps the using, makes the process a little more fun. Get all the cornstarch in. The reason I'm sifting it is just because I also don't want like lumps of flour in there. Now we're just combining all of it together. The matcha smells so good. I love matcha. Basically, if there's a matcha anything, I will buy it. Everything's well combined together as one. This is pretty much done. Much better. Probably eat this right now if you wanted, but it's probably not a good idea. This is the crust, it's been cooling. It smells really good. There's some bubbles and potentially some small lumps, and that's okay, because we're gonna solve all these problems with a sieve. Uh, may I have some help with the sieve, please? Thank you. Man, I wish life was this easy. Get all this stuff in here. I shall take it from here. Oh, I don't like lumps in my cheesecake. I don't think anybody does. I made any mistakes while making it. Uh, I just do this. Most important thing is that it's silky smooth, so better to be safe than sorry, you know? That is pretty much it. More for me. There might be some more bubbles, so we're just gonna... Okay, we're gonna bake this. So now we move on to making the meringue mixture. I have my egg whites here and some sugar. We just wanna make this fluffy. This is also the most time consuming part. You gotta do it. Where are we at? Soft peak stage, beautiful egg whites. I'm just going to add a little bit in first, make sure they're integrated. You can feel the air. We can start folding in the meringue mixture. Gotta be gentle. Putting the rest of it in. I think it's looking pretty good. I think we're there. Don't mess with it any more than you have to. This is okay. I got some parchment paper. We're just lining the bottom, the heavy bowl. Yeah. Tapping the bubbles out. Just to make sure it's smoothed out. You need to put this in the oven ASAP. Be right back. We have four different cooking temperatures and four different cooking times. We're gonna start with low heat, go up to high heat, go back to low heat, and then go finish off with high heat. Because low heat can cook it without making it crack on top. And then high heat will help it rise and give it color. Hopefully, next time when you guys see me, I have a cake that has fully risen and is not undercooked. The cheesecake has been in for a while. It's pretty much fully cooked, it's smooth, no cracks. But the last step I like to do is a little sour cream topping. Sour cream, sugar, and a little bit of vanilla. Put it all together. A lot of creamy stuff today. Sounds like mac and cheese again. It's basically like putting another cheesecake on cheesecake. My favorite part is when you put it on. Look at this. Ooh la la. Look at that, look at those ribbons. That's what happens to the Michelin man when he retires. And this looks like it's going pretty well. We're gonna put this back in the oven, literally for like five minutes. And then after that, it's gonna take a nap in the fridge. Good thing I made one yesterday. I also made a strawberry topping because I like strawberries and cheesecake, so very excited to eat this. Gotta be careful though. Drop it. Okay, the cake. Is done. Looks like this right now. We just need to re like be really quick. If I do a little tap tap, it comes off easily. I'm like panicking. Basically, what I'm gonna try and do is flip it over. My history of flipping things isn't very good. Okay, we flipped it. Smells good. I'm gonna peel this layer off. Now for flip number two. I'm really nervous. The last time I tried to do it, it fell off, so I don't trust myself. What I do, what I do, what I do, what I do, what I do. <laughs> okay. It's very soft. It's pretty good. Oh, pat, pat, tap, tap. Jiggle, jiggle, wobble, wobble, wibble. It passed the jiggle test. So I think we're good. Now we're gonna move on to final plating. Yay. Okay, Alvin, you ready? I am ready. 
Whoa! Whoa. Yours is a green Why? pillow I would gladly sleep on. Did you cheat and buy this from the store? <laughs> this looks like the gourmet stuff you get at like Cheesecake Factory. Nice work. Nice. We have our special guest who loves cheesecakes, who's gonna come in and tell us which one they like more. This is catching my attention. This is very red. This is giving me the typical New York cheesecake. This is super gorgeous. Looks very fluffy. Ooh, that's Oh, just, this ooh, is that's thick. thick. <laughs> this is thick. Look at the presentation. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. Pretty all nervous. Right, let's get all of it in one bite. Wow. Wow, that's very good. My parents being from Brooklyn, they had high standards for their cheesecakes, and this consistency is very on par. You did that, Alvin. Thank you, thank you. Now for the pillow. <laughs> it's literally like a cloud. Oh. Inga. Oh, it is really good. It is so moist. You can really taste the matcha. I'm so happy. This is really good. Your nails are matching as well. Okay, look at this. <laughs> it was meant to be. You both did really good. Oh man. Two very good takes on cheesecake. This is hard. I can't ignore my stomach. The matcha cheesecake wins. I love Ooh. it. I, it's so good. I, I love the fresh take on it. It was the nails, wasn't it? You want to take this? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Congratulations. Yeah, well done. This is the biggest achievement of 2020. I'm so emotional oh. right now. I was fully expecting to lose. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Mmm, dude, that smells so good. This is very good. This is very good. Thanks so much for joining me, Alvin. Thank you for having me. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you want to see on 20 vs. Traditional, what kind of food. Leave a comment below. Otherwise, See you next time. Bye. Bye.